Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Cobb of Z Health Performance. Today we're moving into part two of our series on low back pain. Uh, as I always mention, if you are unfamiliar with our company, for the last two decades we've been working with world-class practitioners, doctors, therapists, and coaches who are very interested in neuroscience and taking a brain-based approach to their work with clients. So if that's of interest to you, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, download our free resources, and check us out because we love working with, like I said, world-class professionals. So what we started last week was discussing different approaches to low back pain. Um, and we talked a lot about what we call positional and postural safety. This is kind of a unique way to approach the idea that a lot of low back pain is driven by brain processes whenever the brain feels unsafe with a given movement. So we began last week saying, I want you to figure out if your eyes, your inner ear, and how the rest of your body are interacting uh, and what is driving potentially some of the low back pain you're experiencing. We used all of that to try to identify a very specific postural position for you that would be a safe starting position for our other exercises. As a quick reminder, we had you test rotation, flexion extension, lateral bending, and combinations based off your unique low back pain presentation. We then went through a bunch of different postural ideas to say, hey, is there a position that you can get into with your feet? with the amount of knee bend, with your pelvic position, with your eyes, with your inner ear, utilizing tools for balance to say, hey, right here, maybe for me, I'm very comfortable. Although it looks odd, if this is your comfortable position, this is where we will begin the work today because we want you to start off in the most comfortable position because our job is to achieve one pain-free rep of movement that will allow you to start to build a mental library of what it feels like, again, to be pain-free. So for our purposes today, we're going to focus on lateral bending. There's quite a lot of research in the low back pain world. And one of the components that is most often missing uh, in people with chronic low back pain is the ability to comfortably side bend. So if that is you, if this is the category that you fit into, we're going to, going to begin with some very simple mobilization drills. We're going to begin with the pelvis. Because when we're working with the low back, we want to think about moving the stuff below the low back, which is the pelvis. And sometimes we need to think about moving the stuff above the low back, which is the thoracic cage. Often, if we move above and below the problematic area, it will allow the brain to uh, begin accepting movement there more easily. So we're going to begin with your comfortable postural position. For purposes of this video, I'm going to imagine that for me and my low back pain, that internally rotated feet bilaterally with knees bent is my comfortable position. And let's say uh, maybe my eyes are down, All right? And again, if none of this makes sense to you, please go back and watch the first video. So what I would have you do first is get into your posturally safe position, take the eye position that you need, and we're just going to begin doing anterior posterior tilts of the pelvis. It's very simple, all right? Just anterior and posterior. You want to think and notice how far you can move in each direction before it becomes uncomfortable. I want you to work within the comfortable range. I want you to do 20 to 30 repetitions here. From there, I now want you to try to do side to side movements of the pelvis, all right? A little bit of a side to side hula motion, whatever you want to call it, a little dance motion. And you're trying to figure out for yourself what is the most comfortable pelvic position? So if I find that I do a posterior tilt, so I tuck my pelvis, and as I hold that, I can do side to side pelvic tilting easily, great, you've now learned something. We're gonna hold on to that and we're gonna get some repetitions in, in that position. After we've done anterior posterior tilting and lateral tilting, we're then going to be doing full circles, all right, like a hula hoop motion, but you are trying to bias this movement toward holding the appropriate amount of either posterior tilt, the tucked pelvis position, neutral or anterior tilt, whatever is most comfortable for you. So I want you to figure out and achieve for yourself the most comfortable pelvic position. I want you to do 20 to 30 repetitions of anterior posterior tilting, lateral tilting and circles. Once you've done that, we're now going to take the pelvis and we're going to hold it in its most comfortable position. From there, we're going to begin doing small gliding motions of the spine. So in other words, we're fixating the lower body and the pelvis, and we're now moving the spine side to side. Notice that we are not bending, we are translating. There's some interesting things that happen mechanically in the low back whenever we do translations versus side bending. So translations are often a great way to begin restoring movement 
um, that we're interested in, which is the side bending. So as you accumulate some repetitions, you're going to try to make this motion a little bit larger and larger until you can be doing a translation that's very comfortable. If any kind of translation is uncomfortable with movement, your other option is to do this as an isometric exercise. What that would basically entail is standing with a wall to the side of you, your shoulders against the wall, you attain your appropriate pelvic position, and then you just simply put motion or put force into the wall. And then you would turn around and you would go the opposite direction again, pushing into the wall with your body. Isometric exercise can be very, very powerful for low back pain because we're basically achieving muscle tension without movement. So the brain has less to sort out. It is a less threatening way to achieve tension often than mobility. So if mobility exercises are problematic for you, you may find that isometric work is your best friend. So as a quick review, we've used our eyes, our inner ear uh, stuff from the first video. We found our position of postural safety and comfort. And now we've started doing some work below the low back in the pelvis. And we've begun our very first rehabilitative exercise for the low back itself, which is translations, either in mobilizations or with isometrics. As a practical reminder, this may not look perfect. I might not be in a perfect neutral stance, etc. Instead, I may have different body positions. I may even need to find that I'm rotated with my spine in order to find a position that is comfortable. That's going to be your number one goal is that pain-free rep. All right, guys, so give this a shot. Let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks.